everybody, it's Caleb Leverett. It's August 22nd, 2014. I'm headed to San Antonio for about the 25th or 26th trip uh, just to be with my kids. Uh, about three days ago, four days ago, something like that, August 19th was the one year anniversary of my son Parker being ripped away from me by Judge Whalen. And this is the one year anniversary of me making my very first trip to San Antonio, of which I've not missed one uh, pickup to get my kids. As many of you know, uh, may or may not know, I don't know, I went to jail on civil contempt uh, on about March 28th, I believe. It was on a Friday. I was in, I parked my RV in the courthouse parking lot. What I'm in right now, uh, expecting just to, I had no idea that I was going to be put in jail, and I uh, didn't get to see my kids that day because I had to go to jail. Paperwork got all conveniently screwed up, and I was supposed to be in, booked in, and booked out. Uh, it didn't work out that way. Uh, it was the following Monday I got out. Um, uh, anyways. I'm facing another 56 days. Uh, we have uh, appealed to the Eastland uh, Appeals Court, or Appellate Court, whatever it's called, and apparently they agreed with Judge Rex, who, Judge Rex was the one that sentenced me to uh, 60, actually it was 360 days. <laughs> it was 60 days for six counts of not dropping off my son, uh, also known as being a good dad. Yeah, so, but I uh, was just graced uh, to be able to serve all six terms congruently, or how are you saying? So I got another 56 days to go. Hopefully, I uh, we can get a two for one or a three for one. I hear sometimes some jails do ten for one. Uh, so maybe I can get out early. Uh, kind of doubt it. Currently, if you are watching this, it's only because I'm exhausted all appeals I'm either I've either ran out of money and couldn't appeal any further or uh, the Supreme Courts have uh, said nah, we agree with all the other judges you're rotten dad and uh, justice <laughs> the best interest of the children your children mr. Lever the best interest of them is you go to jail for six, 60 days on civil contempt currently like I said I don't even know if I'm gonna release this video but like I said if you are watching it it's because I'm in jail. Uh, what, anyway, before I get to that, currently, as of today, we are appealing to the Texas Supreme Court, and it depends on the verdict there, whether it goes or gets hurt or not. Um, I may even think about appealing to the United States Supreme Court. I don't know if I can or not. I don't know if I can afford it. Uh, but it, to me, it's worth a fight. Parental alienation is it's just a problem that very, very few people want to talk about. And I know the world's just plagued with problems with Ferguson and Syria and Iraq and every all the crap that's going on. I, this just happens to be my fight that a lot of people uh, just, they just don't want to talk about because it's too controversial, it's too hard, and this radical militant feminism is just destroying the land of the free. I admire, whether or not you agree or disagree with what's going on in Ferguson, I, I admire those people so much. Uh, regardless of what you think of Mike Brown, bless his soul, uh, they're, they're just, they're tired of this crap. They're tired of the oppression. And I'm just tired of going to jail for being a good dad. Even the, the there's three three uh, sheriff's deputies there in the courtroom that watch the whole, I don't know, four or five hour, however long we were in, in court over civil contempt. And I was arrested there in the courtroom as they were walking me out. They were almost apologetic. They felt bad. They said, man, Mr. Leverett, I've seen a lot of things. One of them said, I've been doing this almost 30 years. I have never in my life seen someone get the book thrown at them. Good God. And they were really nice. Uh, they were courteous. And my back was out at the time. And 
they were, you know, at least somewhat, you know, sympathetic towards me. They loosened my handcuff a little bit for me so I could actually stand up a little bit. But even during booking, during booking, they didn't know what to put me as because, you know, A, you've, you've got a, apparently, there's some kind of code for every uh, arrest or a jail or whatever. And this guy said, well, I don't know what to put you as because, I mean, yours not criminal at all. It's all civil, but the only thing I got for civil is child support. I said, but I'm current on child support. Uh, but I don't know what else to do. I said, well, I'm the one having to go to jail, so could you know, help me out here, do do the right thing. So they went and got their bosses, and even they they were saying like, good grief, 60 days for civil contempt? Not dropping his son off your what? But the last I heard, they had to put it down as child support, which <laughs> it just—it's such a load. But yeah, yeah. Um, if you're like I said, if you're watching this, it's because okay, well, that that rotten, violent, horrible human being that just was, he's convicted of being a good dad. It's because I'm in jail. Uh, I am a YouTube partner, so yeah, there's to watch my videos you got to watch a few commercials do me a favor first of all if you're new to my channel please subscribe um, check out the original video that started all this uh, 14 year old Parker stands up for his right for his rights uh, it's very lengthy it's 72 minutes a lot of people call it our movie uh, it finally hit before I had to pause my channel hit over had over a million views it's 72 minutes long and but it it was, it was victorious and then and then be sure and check out Parker vs. the Man where you get to see uh, where what happens what really happens in these crooked courtrooms where these cockroach attorneys love to be in the dark and they hate it when people like me expose what they do for a living for a buck <laughs> they, they, they rip kids out because they're minors they don't have brains of their own they're not they're just 14 they can't make <laughs> they can't especially when they get on the stand and explicitly say i want to live with my dad no 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 so yeah they just check out parker versus the man spread it around the more views i get uh you know a little bit more of a, an income i'll have in these two months in jail I said i don't have a huge following but i've got a decent um a decent following of some people that are have been in our shoes because like I've said in many of my videos our situation is not unique and by far in fact it's kind of it's it's common it's the norm to oppress boys and oppress uh, even children in general but whatever girls or boys because of feminism radical militant feminism and, and it's not just women who are the feminists it's their the, the men who are in, in power that make these rules and have the guns and they get to dictate your life because if they don't and they go home and mama finds out what they did oh so anyway I'll probably get in a lot more trouble for this uh, my mouth just apparently seems to get me in jail get my kids ripped from me now they're about to take me or they have taken me, like I said, if you're watching this, it's only because I'm in jail. They've taken everything. They've taken all, what do I have to lose now? I mean, you've taken my kids, you've taken my money, now you've taken me. <laughs> so let's just, let's just start talking about it. You, If you aren't directly affected, you almost certainly know somebody that the system has screwed over royally. You know, a lot of people call me a father's rights advocacy adv advocate, and generally speaking, yes, I am because it's most of the time, and this is just facts. You can go look it up for yourself. Fathers are the ones who get screwed in the courtroom. It, that was one of the jokes we got out when I was telling my friends about the that they couldn't find the code. They say, "Well, I'll call it a code 69 because you got screwed, buddy." <laughs> anyway, yeah. Where's that? It just, I want to open the conversation. You know somebody who's been affected by uh, the, the the family courts. Because it just, it's all crooked. It's not in the best interest of the children. That's just what they say. It's all smoke and mirrors. 
if we're just supposed to shut up and let this perpetuate and go on and on and on, well, I'm tired of shutting up. I'm tired of this, the, the crooks running everything, running roughshod over everybody, stealing people's kids, stealing their money, just making the kids' lives miserable. It's crap and it's got to stop. We've got to start speaking our minds. People of Ferguson, congratulations. You're mad about the whole thing and I get it. They're making a scene. I, I, good for them. Good for them. I, I want to do the same thing with parental alienation. If you don't know what it is, look it up. Basically, well, I probably shouldn't even say it, so I'm not going to. Just look up parental alienation. This is Caleb Everett. August 22nd, the one year anniversary of having to drive to San Antonio uh, 750 miles round trip or so every weekend just to see my kids and uh, I'm signing off. Be good. Be nice. Don't hit your kids. Play with them. They're fun. Hey everybody, it's Caleb Everett again. It's August 24th. I just got done visiting with my kids in San Antonio and I want to make a clarification a couple of clarification on the uh, the video that you just watched uh, the first one being I voluntarily chose to pause my YouTube channel I was not forced to pause it however uh, attorney Brad Miller made it very clear once uh, Judge Rex uh, sentenced me to 360 days of uh, or six counts of at 60 days a piece of not returning Parker which actually he actually wrote back with me on every single visitation and every time I picked up the kids at uh, his mom's house say hi Riggs say hi anyways um, I want to make it very clear the I chose to do that myself they made it clear that they did not want me getting bail unless I agreed to not discuss any of this case on any kind of social media. And I agreed because I just don't want to go to jail. I mean, who, who, who wants to go to jail? So I paused my channel. I've not talked about it online, but again, if you're watching this, it's only because I'm in jail and what, I, what have I got to lose? Uh, the other part, I, was, I let the kids watch the video that you just saw. And of course it made London cry. And which makes me sad and anyways uh, about people calling me a father's rights activist yes I am to a degree you just saw that but moreover I am a good parent activist I totally acknowledge that there are douchebag dads out there and they they deserve the book thrown at them that I, I, I get it there really are I am pro good parent if it's the mom that's a good parent, great. If it's the dad that's a good parent, great. If they're both good parents, even better. So anyway, I just want to make a clarification there that I'm pro good parent and I was not forced by anyone else to pause my channel. I paused it myself. However, I was required to, if I wanted to get bail, to not talk about any of this case on any kind of social media take it for what it's worth it is what it is so anyway again please spread our videos around if I'm gonna be in jail for a couple of months need some kind of income it's not a lot but uh, once I get out I gotta pay my extortion fees to attorney Brad Miller uh, gotta pay for my own incarceration like nine thousand dollars and a stepdad <laughs> got on the stand and complained about not having or having to pay, pay insurance on children that aren't his and uh, you know as if it's some kind of big surprise <laughs> I married a woman with four kids so <laughs> I'm gonna have some money to uh, pay off the extortion fees and uh, just to, so I don't wind up back in jail again so anyways stamp out parental alienation all these ice bucket challenge people if I was I didn't think about it until after I, it was too late with the kids. I'd pour a bucket of ice water over my head in a heartbeat to raise awareness of parental alienation because it sucks.